started. What is up? My name is Paul Tokizolu. I'm here with Anton Harrison Kern. We're going to go over some of what Anton is doing and talk about digital marketing. So Anton, thanks for being with us here today. We're looking at fully utilized. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick so that way we can get a better view of what we're both looking at. So we're looking at this business here. Um, and can you just tell us, tell me a little bit like what is, how do you make money on this? Like what is your value ladder for this business? Okay. You know, like so how this do you business, make money? This business, it was inspired originally by Airbnb, which I'm sure you'd be familiar with. Right. And um, Airbnb keeps 20% of the revenue and it enables people to put their houses up and rent out rooms or whatever they like. Mm -hmm. Okay. My phone just fell down. Um, so this business does, does a similar thing. You can put up your business assets or your assets and this website will keep 20% of the revenue and it, it just basically facilitates that transaction. Okay. And it uses a very similar kind of agreement where the person has to look after the, the equipment while they're renting it, etc. And I've, I've had this business now for about three years it hasn't taken off yet and I'm looking for what's missing. I just don't know why I haven't been able to have it work yet. Okay. Right. Who are you trying to target with this? Like who would you say is the ideal user of this website? The ideal user of this website would be a business who um, needs to continually rent a product and doesn't want to buy their own. Right. For sure. Um, and you were saying beforehand, you were saying like, you feel like you need a niche. You feel like you need something that is like your signature product that people come to you for. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's right. You're a guy who has like a really big connection. I know you've got a lot of connection in solar and in kind of commodities in general. Um, yes. what do you think something that you could provide at a low cost, you could get easy, but it's something that's in high demand. Mm, that's a great question. Like we have here different types of machinery. We've got 3D printing. Are these things that you can easily access for businesses or no. is, are these, would these be hard for you to get? That'd be hard for me to get. So that's a great point right there. You know, I, I'm, I'm definitely not leveraging my strengths in what I put up here. Originally, I kind of put up what I thought would be disruptive and what I thought the market would want. But what I'm distinguishing for myself at the moment in this conversation is I'm making it hard for myself. It's like, I think that you, um, yeah, you try to do a lot. You know, you're, tr you're a guy who tries to do a lot of different things at once. And a lot of times it's easier. If you look at Airbnb, if you look at some of these similar services, they always target a niche audience. So like when Airbnb first launched, they were looking at people who were going to events. It was very specific because that's how right. they first all met together is they gathered at an event, I think in Washington, D.C. And they all stayed right. at someone's house and they had a great time. And that was the right. model for Airbnb. And they were trying to target people who are going to go to conferences or maybe people who were going to like Ted talk or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that, that was their initial market. So I feel like you need something like that. You know what I mean? Like you need someone that you're marketing to specifically, and then it's going to grow out from there, but it's really hard to kind of niche in on your product and on your funnel and on your customer until you really have ironed that out. And I mean, with your background, there's all sorts of things that you can do. There's software. Like I see here, you have the option for people to hire a software developer. And I know that you're really yeah. passionate about virtual assistants and kind of yeah. revolutionizing that market. I mean, is that something that you could look into a little bit more? Would that be easier? Yeah, well, that's what's worked so far. But what I'm thinking to myself now is, just based on what you're saying, if the virtual assistants have worked, I do have a lot of business owners who are my contacts. So, right. for example... What I could do is say any businesses who are in my network who have staff availability, like their staff are not fully utilized. Yeah. And they could be available to do some extra work for other companies, for example. Right. Then maybe that's, maybe that's, a, that, maybe that's a position because that's what I have access to. So an important part of this too is, uh, is uh, studying your competition a little bit. And here's a company that I know about called Bottleneck Virtual Assistance. And they have right. a really sweet interface that you might want to check out. So let's just go ahead here, check out, they make their whole thing a funnel and basically, you know, applying you uh, specifically for some sort of, the, of a virtual assistant. They, it's very right. easy to do. And um, I think this is something you could really model. You know what I mean? Oh, amazing. I think, 
I and mean, um, especially with your angle that you have where what you do is you help people who are trying to get out of the sex industry, right? So yeah. well, that's probably... yeah, that's that's moved now. That's that's widened a little bit. It's really anyone who comes from you know a, a disadvantaged background, like a poor area, you know, like right. a slum. It could be you know it, it's 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 really widened over the over the years because I've realized that not everybody goes down the path of get, being in the sex industry who needs our services. So yeah. right, that makes sense. But I feel like that's a really great angle. Like you're really trying to help people. You really have a great mission. And I feel like that's something that you could highlight a lot more in your marketing message. You know, like okay. uh, this business, is this, is this a nonprofit or is this going to be for profit? It's for profit. For yeah. profit. Okay, cool. For because, profit. Um, yeah. you know, you could, te- you could maybe think about going the nonprofit angle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you wanted to, mm-hmm. given the type of mission that you're trying to do to help people in these developing countries, um, that would be an opportunity because... I don't know if you know this, but you can get fifty thousand dollars a month in Google uh, ad bro- in in ad money from Google if you're a nonprofit with a really good message. Really? Yeah, wow. so you could have a lot. You could um, have a, more money than you could ever need to advertise on Google and on YouTube if you went that route. Um, wow! And then also, yeah. there's all sorts of grants that would become available to you. Um, and mm-hmm. that's another way that you could get some funding. I know that you said you already have some inv- investors who would be interested, so you might not need that. But, mm-hmm. you know, that is a, I think that you could definitely get some grants for this sort of work. You know, that's that could really, really interesting. That yeah, could be. Okay, I'll, I'll investigate that. Thank you. I'll make yeah, note. that's an angle to go in as well. But um, yeah, yeah, I feel like catering it in that direction. And then even more niche than just virtual assistants, but virtual assistants who are really high end at software development. And things like mm. that, because that's kind of your specialty too, right? Like building AI, yeah. building yeah. chatbots, and doing yeah. uh, really technical stuff. So it's almost like even within the virtual assistant uh, world, that angle as well as your world too. But we we work with you know we have uh, virtual assistants who are very technically capable. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I think it's a mix. It's very technically capable and it's making a difference. You know, it's that, that hybrid of, you know, the customer can't lose. There's a warm fuzzy and they're going to get a great result. Exactly. And yeah. I feel like the market here would be new entrepreneurs, people who are looking to grow and scale their business. Maybe they're mm-hmm. doing, uh, maybe they're making five, somewhere between five and $10,000 a month people who are maybe my age and they're looking Mm -hmm. for help uh, and maybe they have an app idea or they have some sort of website idea Um, or maybe entrepreneurs who have a business and they want to launch an app. That's a big thing right now is a lot of people got started as entrepreneurs a couple years ago and now they're making money and they have some money to invest in their, in their brand. So they want to build an app. They want to build some sort of a thing to engage with their customers so this is the type of person who'd be interested in paying a virtual assistant who's really good at app development or at, you know, software co- at coding, basically. Yeah, so yeah that sure. Be, Absolutely. That be, you could reach out to that individual, that young entrepreneur who is maybe running a tech startup or has some sort of a, you know, an established brand already and see if they need support from a virtual assistant. 100%. Okay. Well, I love that. That's great. Um, so I'm, I'm finding a direction now inside of this conversation. You know, I I really feel like human labor is, is, is a great direction for this to go down and it's my own team and it's other teams. It's leveraging the strengths of my existing network. Um, it's maybe looking at the not-for-profit angle. Definitely all of these things make really good sense. And I'll I'll have a good look at bottleneck as far (laughs) as what their platform looks like, because we do have some budget for ongoing development of this site as well to make it more user friendly and, and you know, I that think that'd be a great yeah. idea. Um, money for advertising right now. What's that? Do you have any money for advertising right now? Yeah, yeah, we do have money for advertising. So yeah, we, we, we but, and, and I'm really in the experimental phase. Like my, what my strategy is, is I don't point much money at it. I right. pick an ad, I try it, like I tried drone services, for example, put up yeah. a bunch of drone pilots all around the country that, that I knew. And I don't think we got any any results as a, at, you know, out of that. So the only thing that we do get is virtual assistants. Like a, so mm-hmm. far, I've tried motorbikes, drone pilots, um, 
Yeah, <laughs> just oh, things yeah, like that. I haven't gotten yeah, just do the virtual assistant thing, man. That's great. You know, that's a really yeah. it's what you're passionate about. It's worked for you in the past, and you're really good at it. So, uh, yeah. I would say, as far as like what your next, if you want to relaunch the brand. I would say work with someone to redevelop the website, base it off of some of these competitor sites and make it more of a yeah. funnel, more of a way, yeah. a Q and A thing where people will fill out their information and then they'll get matched up with a virtual assistant. Yeah. Um, and so work on the website a little bit and maybe write some copy and write some content around the mission and around what you're doing and how you find virtual assistants and a little bit about what your mission is all about, your why. Yeah. Maybe write some yeah. copy about that and have that in there on the website as well. Um, sure. And then I would, um, yeah, and then if you have some money for advertising, um, see about going on some YouTube channels or some podcasts that connect with a lot of entrepreneurs and see if you can take out an ad, do a sponsorship for mm. a podcast that reaches entrepreneurs. Um, yes. There's a lot of different ones out there right now. There's a lot of really good podcasts. Um, and there's a lot of good YouTube channels and there's a lot of stuff like that. And I'd say that's where you probably want to advertise because, um, the, you know, uh, virtual assistance is a very trust based business. Like you've got to have a, mm -hmm. a lot of times people re recommend virtual assistance to one another. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's kind of a, it's a, it's something where trust is very, yeah. uh, hard mm -hmm. to get. So yeah, and even when it's, even when it's trusted, like I have, very you know we we have mixed success because some people the learning curve of getting a, a virtual assistant up to speed is too much for some people like they just yeah they want it to be amazing from day one but you know and they're not willing to wait and it it gets to an amazing place but like bringing on any staff member it's frustrating in the beginning you know like well you know or there's a learning curve it doesn't have to be frustrating but there's a learning curve you know and yeah. some people aren't uh, you know I, I guess they aren't aware of that and no matter how much trust there is so it, it's a tough space in that respect like getting that getting the runs on the board early that process is something which i need to um, manage as well yeah but that would also be easier for you because you have a a big uh history of running a, a, a using yeah. virtual assistants so you can sure. use that um that clout and you can use yeah. that to kind of get you some stuff and um yeah, I mean, you could definitely try just cold advertising on Facebook or something like that. But I just feel it'd be a lot more, um, you'd have a better ROI if you went through the influencer marketing route and you took out some ads Ooh. on podcasts or something like that. Um, because that yeah. way you're getting, you're getting that person, that trusted expert who recommends this service and maybe, um, maybe offer that person um, some sort of a discount or some sort of a deal where they can have... Uh, use one of your virtual assistants for some work for an hour or two. That way they yeah. know that they can safely recommend it. That's um, a great idea. Absolutely. Sort of yes. Yeah. Those sort of recommendations are huge. So I think that would be, be a great angle. I love it. Absolutely. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you got something here, man. I felt like I've got like, apes. Yeah. You've told me about this for months, so I know you're passionate about it. Yeah, well, I think that um, like this is one of those businesses. Very rarely do I create an idea, go out to market, raise money for it, and then build it. You know what I mean? That's not yeah. something I've done. I do often, and this is one that I did. And so there are people I'm responsible to for making or doing my very best to make this a success. Yeah. And it's a good idea. It just hasn't landed yet. So I'm so grateful for your contribution, and I. I really, I am getting a lot of value and I can see that once I start to get a little bit of traction, I'd like to set up something with you and have you as part of what we're doing. Thanks, in order man. To kind of, yeah. And we can keep that going because I really need to, I need to make this fly in 2020. 2020 is its year as far well, as I'm Well, I think you will, man. This is good stuff. And um, something you could do as well is you could also have the same sort of angle, but reaching out to the, to the virtual assistant angle and have an outreach program where someone can go through some sort of a training program to become yeah. one of your certified virtual assistants. Yeah. We already have that. It's called the launch pad and it operates out of the Philippines and it's like a game. They start at level zero and they have to get to level 10 and their pay and their responsibilities increase and we wow. coach them and develop them. Dude, it's so obvious. Yeah, you've just, you've already been doing this. So what you need mm -hmm. to do is take, 
take all the results you've gotten from Launchpad from that program and all yep. the get some testimonials together and showcase some of your best mm -hmm. virtual assistants, showcase wow. your best students, maybe have, have them do an interview with them or show some mm. of their work or something like that, have something in there and just use those students. So you already have that trust. You already have a lot of that credibility built up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then if you just throw some advertising behind that and kind of get that service out there a little bit more, um, especially if you go the influencer route, that's usually pretty yeah. expensive. Um, that's a great pace. Yeah. And um, Facebook groups. There's a lot of big Facebook groups for entrepreneurs. A lot of times mm -hmm. you can take out, you can um, take out a sponsorship there and you can ask the group owner on Facebook um, if they're, you know, if they do, uh, if they do uh, promotions and then maybe. They I wonder can if I could, yeah. I wonder if I could also facilitate a Facebook group for, businesses who who use VAs or want to use VAs yep. like a like in, in like a knowledge sharing kind of group well that's more the organic route you know what that would not involve uh, paid traffic it's absolutely something you should do and something you should think about you could even have some sort of a podcast or something like that that you do where you coach people and you teach them about how to best use their VAs or you teach them the best mm -hmm. practices you could do that as well, but you could also again just do that through a Facebook group or something of that variety. So, or a great market for that might actually um, it, uh, be a LinkedIn group um, because yeah. LinkedIn services more to the business owner crowd and people like that. So you might um, you might want to think about doing that as a LinkedIn community as well. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely. And yeah. that's a hell of a strategy right there. You know, you have the LinkedIn community or a Facebook group as kind of your organic social media presence um, mm -hmm. and then you have some advertising on Facebook advertising on LinkedIn might be a lot better actually than advertising on Facebook um, okay, again, I've heard it's expensive but I've never done it before and I yeah so it works pretty you, well yeah. from what I've seen okay. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. um, but I mean you definitely can do some of that but then definitely think about influencer marketing but I mean, priority yeah. number one, I think, would just be redesigning your website a little bit and writing some better copy and yeah. making it more of a making it more of a sales funnel. And as part of a sales funnel, yeah. have in there some of those uh, some of those testimonials from your virtual mm -hmm. students showing some of their portfolio, showing some of the results they've been able to get for people using your training, mm -hmm. and just showcase a lot of that throughout the whole website, and also mm -hmm. showcase your mission, showcase what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then maybe have an angle, have a, a place on the website too, where people who want to become a virtual assistant, they can then hop over to Launchpad. So you can have yeah. the two websites kind of symbiotically uh, together. I wonder if completely renaming it is a good idea. Cause it might be, cause considering it doesn't really have a lot of traction right now, unless I artificially generate that traffic, maybe a name that really reflects, you know, VAs and making a difference in the world you know, some name that reflects that is probably something to consider at this stage. Well, I really do like Launchpad. I feel like that's a good name. I mean, okay. Is that wow. a that you own? Mm, no, but um, I'm going to look at that. I wonder if like Launchpad VA, for example, might be available. Yeah. Launchpad VA, something of that variety because um, Launchpad, I feel like that's a great, that's a great name for what you're doing. You're giving people for the VA, you're giving them a launch pad into their next career. And for the business owner, you're giving them a launch pad to running yeah. a team and growing their business. Yeah. Wow. The great thing about VAs is, is that for a lot of people who are entrepreneurs, this is the first person that they've ever hired in their life. This is yeah. the first, their yeah. first experience of being a job creator. So yeah. that's huge. And it's a launch pad for them to then scale their business and really go after their true purpose. So I feel like when you kind of structure it as that symbiotic thing of a launch pad for both the business owner and the VA, it's a, that's a really cool brand. That's something that people could get behind. You know what I mean? That's something, again, that's something that's very easy for a podcast host or someone to promote. It's a very yeah. easy message to, uh, to market. Ah, uh, Paul, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> This is, I've got so much clarity. I've got so much vision now for what's next. That's so, what I do. That's what I do, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you really you got, do. Like, you've definitely I'm got ready. something here, man. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. up here, I feel like you're trying to do things that are, would be hard for Anton to do. Like you're talking about 
uh, vehicles. You're talking about car parks. You're talking about 3D printing. Um, yeah. Talking about vehicles. It's one of those things. And then you got a jujitsu gi up here. I love it. You yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm experimenting with so many things. Just trying to see what I can. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's like, who's this website for? You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> But I love the idea of it being an Airbnb for virtual assistants and for business yeah. owners. That's amazing. I'm done. Um, and and actually, launch, launchpadva.com is available. So I'll be straight after this. I'll be snapping that up. And uh, I think that's, that's a done deal, man. That's going to happen. Well, I think that's huge, man. Uh, let me think if there's anything else that comes to my mind as this. I mean, I mean, yeah, if you could do some sort of a podcast or something, um, or even like some sort of a YouTube series. Um, like, I don't know, do you ever go to the Philippines yourself? Or yeah. is it all, maybe yeah, next time you go to the Philippines yourself to meet with them, uh, take a camera and do some interviews and fil make yeah. some videos about their lives. Do, you know, yeah. a day in the life of a Filipino, a Filipino VA. Show yeah. what they, how hard they work, what they do to succeed, yeah. what they do to get ahead. You can make yeah. like, you know, next time you go down to the Philippines, make like a four or five video vlog or something like that. And you can have that be on YouTube and you can post that on LinkedIn and you can have that on your website. And that's all. Well, I think, yeah. Launchpad VA can have a, like a, a YouTube channel embedded in it. It can have, you know, and, and I can do regular, I can do like you do with Zoom and Facebook. You know what I mean? I can or with Zoom, essentially you record with Zoom, but I can do that with my team talk about what's going on, what they're doing for their customers. I can talk to our customers. Like I can, I can embed all that sort of stuff very transparently so people can see at a, you know, at a glance what it's like to be dealing with these people and what the experience can be like. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, is there anything else that you want to talk about? I know you got to wrap this up here soon. Are there any other questions? I'm, I'm, like, I'm just super excited to sink my teeth into that. I want to create a plan with you. I want to find out about how I can make you a part. Cause if we've gotten this far in half an hour, yeah. like I, I, I would like to make sure that, you know, we're meeting at least once a month for an hour, you know, yeah. would be my probably a starting point um, yeah. around this business because I think that it needs that clarity is just ridiculous. And once I'm going to take this recording, hopefully you'll give me a copy as well and yeah. I'll play it to my team in the Philippines because they'll be, and in India, because they'll be helping me, rebuild this and relaunch this business to to work in this capacity so that's that's the plan well i'm excited man and let me ask you what's your website built on what what uh website platform is it do you know um it's dot net and it's got a not commerce back end so it's got an e-commerce back end it's quite complex what it did or what it does as far as sharing commissions around and um yeah. accounting for all of that so we'll be trying to preserve all of that um yeah. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a dot net solution. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's cool. And then um, you might actually want to look at one of these funnel building softwares like ClickFunnels or something like that because what mm. they do really well at is they do really good at making a quiz and that might be kind of what you're looking for is you give a biz the business owner who comes in you mm. give them a quiz to start mm. off their like a questionnaire that they go through to start off their customer experience. Yeah. And then that matches them up with a VA specific to them. And um, That's click really funnels, smart. Yeah. something like click funnels would make it really easy. It's like drag and drop interface. You could do it in an afternoon and put it, put the whole thing yeah. together. Um, and yeah. that way you can still preserve this back end and what you have here. Um, and you could work on that over time, but I mean, you could launch something like that on click funnels in, in just a couple of days. Yeah, um, they can do the quiz. Then once they work out what they want, they can go shop for the, for what they want, I guess, and it can even link them to certain right. ones inside the platform. Or yeah, okay, good. Right. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I think you got a lot here for sure. Well, let's end the recording and uh, appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. My pleasure, man. Thank you from down under. <laughs> yeah, man.